Hey, yo, what's going on? We're once again, bros, women, bronies, and pegs. This is the one, the only, of course, Mr. Nintendo Sony Free 2011 AK Chris isn't guy 2009. You guys know the rest of the intro. Before it became definitely always, like I do say, check out on freenetwork.com and troublenetworkstudios.com if you want to get your own professional channel banner design, branding pictures, getting more subscribers, possibly popularity on YouTube. And of course, you know, if you want to get into this partnership, I'll leave the link to the website down below. And of course, our YouTube channel pays on the description box below if you're interested. All that good stuff, and without further ado, let's get this, hopefully we can get this started, and find the remote, oh, there we go, aha, pointer, let's begin, alright, so, today, um, actually, like, later on tonight, well, it'll probably be Saturday by the time I upload, this is like really early Monday in the morning, but, whoo, freaking hell, man, actually, no, I mean, it's like Tuesday when it's happening, I don't even know, but anyways, um, I don't know if it was last week, Tuesday, I don't even know what time it is anymore. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, but uh, other than that, um, let's really begin. Let's get into the subject, topic, whatever you want to call it. Tamashi Hikoria. I've talked about this girl last year and uh, how amazing, how much wonderful, how awesome and great she is. One of the best poke tubers around. The only things I remember saying in that video is that like, um, she ended up getting very famous by the by doing collaborations with Nintendo Fan for the Win and the J Witch, aka Josh Wilkerson. I think that's what his last name is. I forgot. I remember he's from Chicago and all that, so that's cool. And a lot of you people I already did let you know if any of you were my older subscribers. You may or may not know. If you're a brand new subscriber, thank you very much if you have subscribed. I'm getting a lot more success this week. I, uh, hopefully, I'm getting a little bit higher, you know, want more subscribers. You know, that'd be awesome as heck, but, um, <laughs> I went above and beyond, man, literally. I thought I was just going to have 500 subs. I got, like, about 510 right now. It might even be higher. Who knows? I'm really, really happy, though. Um, anyways, you know, it's, like, early Monday, Tuesday morning right now. I don't even know what day. That's freaking hell, man. I'm tired as heck. A little bit tired. You guys can't see it, but I drank a lot of Monster Rocks. So I'm starting to crash down a little bit. So, <laughs> that after effect, though, you know? Shoot. Freaking hell. Um... Alright, so yeah, um, she actually ended up announcing, unfortunately, uh, her Twitter account ended up getting hacked. And this is a trend I'm not just seeing on with, like, not just YouTube or PokeTubers, just with big giant people, famous people, celebrities, no matter what they are. Even whether they're famous on YouTube or they're just, like, real-life actors or actresses that got famous and everything like that. Like, um, people's photos that got hacked. Like, the whole fappening thing that happened earlier this year, you know, um... Not gonna get into that or nothing, but um, I feel really bad for the girl, you know. Like, let's get back to Tamashi. Um, it, it's pretty funny because she actually used to live out here in Vegas, which is insane, man. Like, but this is before she got famous, before like I even knew who she was, you know. Who knows? Like, um, if I would have went through the same high school with her, that would have been awesome as heck, literally. If I would have got to know who she was, and I actually did a little bit more research on the internet, it doesn't say what high school she went to, but um. I don't know, judging by her stature and everything, and hopefully this doesn't have to become like a racial ethnicity thing, because she seems to be very like open, well open minded as an individual. Um, I remember these two very, very extremely fancy, high rich, like suburb area like classes. Like, if she would have went to high school here, she probably would have went to either like, I remember the two, it was Palo Verde and then this other one, I think it was Bishop Gorman. And then Arbery was a third one, so she might have went to those very extremely expensive, like, suburb hype schools, you know? Because the one I went to was, like, half suburb, but it was starting to get real ghetto once it was my junior and senior year at that time. And funny enough, they're still there, obviously. But, um, I don't really go through that area anymore because it's kind of weird. Shh, hell, it's weird seeing that. But anyways, um, yeah, without further ado on that, like, um, let me tell you how I feel about her a little bit now. Um, I don't negatively towards, like, I don't have any negative feelings towards her. I will say this, though. Hopefully it's not extremely offensive, and I'm not trying to go into conspiracy theory, like, um, territory here, because I know a lot about that conspiracy theory stuff, and I've talked about it long, long time ago on this channel. I used to talk about a lot of my Criticism Guide 2009 channel. I don't do it over there anymore, but I used to. And, of course, um... A lot of people already know what conspiracy theory might be, UFO stuff, or the Freemasonists, Illuminati, etc., etc., yada, 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 yada. Um, 
Even though a lot of it's used as a joke, it is very dead serious stuff. You do not want to mess with them. I mean, I'm not saying that I mess with myself. I just research all of that stuff. You know. But anyways, um, getting back to the matter at hand, I feel like she would have been like some kind of Britney Spears girl, like MK Ultra or something like that, which hopefully, no offense to the Britney Spears fans, is speaking of which, as funny as hell as that is, and this has nothing to do with Tamashi, but um, out here in Vegas, she actually, I think it was last year or the year before, I think it was pretty sure it was last year though, if memory serves correctly, that she actually like has her own show now, I think it's either like the Luxor, MGM Grand, or um, Ah, oh, what was the other one? Treasure Island. I think it's one of those three big hotels. So if you ever come out here to Las Vegas, hey. And if you're a Britney Spears fan, go check her out. I don't know. I've never been a fan of that girl. Uh, to be honest, extremely as much as I would love to cuss the freaking hell out of that chick. Um, actually found out about her being MK Ultra and all that stuff. And I'm not going to get more into deep into that. Just Google it, Bing it, go on Yahoo, whatever other search engine that's out there. I'm not going to get into that because I'm going to start becoming extremely negative. So um, it's already starting to feel that taking the effect of negativism. So I'm going to get that the hell out of me right now. But anyways, let's get us some positive vibes now. Um, the good news was, you know, she ended up um, raising a lot of money, like with the charities and all that, with these video game like charities that are going on and all that. Probably through Twitch because let's face it, Twitch is pretty much on top of the world when it comes to like donations and charities like the three big main games I'll probably have to say in there is World of Warcraft, League of Legends, which I like way, way more. I never really gave a crap about World of Warcraft, but for some reason, League of Legends just pulls me in, man, literally, in a good way. I love it. I don't know why. I've never had no issues with League of Legends. I just never did. And it was back in 08 or 09, I started getting really into it. Around the same year, I was almost starting college, so I've been in it for a while. That and, um, of course, the big other third one, which is... Officially owned by Microsoft. It's not owned by Mojang anymore. Which is um, Minecraft. Obviously. Huh? In the beginning, I'm not going to lie with Minecraft. I'm trying not to get off topic here. But I actually found, it out, uh, yeah, I actually found out about it through like three big YouTubers. They were, they were still big at that time. But they didn't have over a million subscribers. Like they do now. Like Kutra, Seamus. Kutra aka Kutz. And I think his name is real. Life, his name is Joshua. And he actually got swatted. Which was really, really bad. Just like white boy noise. And I did talk about that a little bit. Not too much, but I don't think I talked about it a lot. And I remember the girlfriend, his girlfriend was freaking K-pop. And she was another big giant YouTuber. Like, she's probably got about 4 or 5 million subscribers by now. And she lives out in Chicago too. <laughs> Ironically enough. Yeah, that one, Seamus, a.k.a. SSOH or SSOH PKC. You know, or Seamus. Um... I used to be a real big fan of him, and I just got real bored of him and stuff, and earlier this year I unsubbed to him. The last, like, Let's Play I saw him do was, like, Rayman 2 or something. Not Rayman 2, the old school, and, like, Rayman Legends or something like that. Ah, oh, I forgot what it was called. Oh, whatever. But anyways, um, that one and Sly Fox Hounds, really cool ass dude. Not just because he's Puerto Rican or anything like I am, which is awesome, but... All along, he's just a really cool, awesome guy, you know. Um, I'm still subscribed to him, my criticism that channel, so he's still a fun guy, you know. He mainly, he mainly appeals to the little younger kids, but I just like him because of his funny little personality he has, you know. Funny, funny, awesome guy, literally. Check him out if you don't know who he is, but I'm pretty much assuming a lot of you probably know who he is already. Um, he's not as big as, of course, PewDiePie, and I, I've never been into him, ever. I've never been in any of his videos or none of that. But um, now I'm going way off to topic. If you like him, go ahead, like PewDiePie if you want. That's more of a, like, a younger kid, like teeny bopper age group, which I'm already grown as hell. That's why I'm not really into his stuff. Hey, there's a couple people that are like grown and they probably love the hell out of his stuff. Who knows? And I have nothing against you either. Hey, go for it. I'm not telling you how to live your life. You go right the hell ahead. However you want to live it, go for it. It's all I need, man. If you feel like doing it, pfft. Nobody should be stopping you. Unless you have under supervision, parental supervision, or aunt or uncle or grandma, then I feel real bad for you, man. Really, I do. Anyways, getting back to the matter at hand a second time. Um, back to Tamashi. You know, um, uh, the two things I actually found out about her, not nothing too bad. Actually, it was really cool in my opinion. It might be bad for so many people, it's cool for me. The first one's not bad at all. Her nickname was called Limey. Which I had no idea her name was Limey. 
Literally, that's a really cool, awesome name. I wonder if she got that from like soda pop or like lemon juice. Which I don't know if it's lemon juice or lemonade. Which is an item from Pokemon from Gen 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, you know. It was in all the generations. If any people remember the lemonade, I forgot if it heals 40. It's from 40 through 80 HP. I remember it heals the Pokemon's power points, HP, hit points. PP are the other ones. So that's one of the power points. Anyways, um, there was that. And then the other thing I found out, um, I'm going to try to keep this as PG rated as I can, but um, let's just say I saw some certain chick on the internet, and this was from a long time ago. This wasn't me doing the stuff now. When I was just looking at this through, right now in the present, and this might be through the future. It's probably going to be mostly eight weeks Saturday when I upload this, but um, good freaking lord, man. Seriously? Um, it was some chick that looked a lot like Tamashi, but she was on a certain Japanese site, which I'm not going to say, but the the way you're probably hearing it in the tone of my voice, I I, I kind of saw her on some certain website, but I'm not going to say, and it's sort of like, if any old school people remember like Stick Cam or Block TV, it's sort of like that, but um, I'm probably going to get this away by the time I take it out, but I'm going to try to keep it family friendly as I can. It was a little adult rated. All right, that's it. I'm not gonna go as far as that. Um, I don't know if it was her or not. I'm hoping that it wasn't, but if it was, hey, whatever. You know, um, I mean, I'm not gonna say she lost respect for me or anything, because I think most of her fan base might be little kids, and then there's some that might be in their 20s, maybe even early 30s, which I would be shocked as hell. But at the same time, I wouldn't be, because in a way nowadays, Pokemon fandom is split between little kids and adults now, young adults now, which will be in our 30s by the time we even. Time is around 2020, 20, maybe or earlier. Who knows? Who knows what the future holds? And that's all I have to say. You know, my whole thoughts, views, and opinions on it. I'm glad she was able to like come out and say that um, her Twitter account was hacked because some a-hole piece of crap ended up like hacking into her Twitter account, which is BS. And if the person who ever sees this video that I actually like hacked into their freaking account, forget you, man. You're a piece of excrement. Seriously, you're not cool at all. You, you are fecal matter, and you're, you're under me. Literally, to be a, so much of a slime ball, low life like that, that isn't cool. Now, what the freaking NSA tracks your butt for doing what the hell you did, buddy. That's BS, literally. I don't like it at all. Not fun, bro. Not cool. But, that's all I had to say about this video. Um, uh, hopefully, this is under 10 minutes, but if not, whatever. But like I was just say, people, peace out. Once again, bros and bros and pegasus. I will see you when I see you. you. Guys, have a good day, have a good night. Wherever out around the world, I'll drink smoke weed at the same time. Don't take the reckless. Keep it calm, keep it cool, keep it chill, keep it elective, all that good stuff. And until then, that's time, guys. Peace out. I will see you guys next time. Um, brand new videos almost every single day. Stay, stay tuned. More videos coming soon. All that good stuff. Um, late saying goodbye. I will see you guys next time. Um, happy early Merry Christmas if you haven't seen it already. And happy early new year, just in case I don't make any other videos. Alright, um, I'm gone, I'm out, see you next time, and um, stay easy everyone, alright? I'm out, and um, hot lace sauerkraut, talk to you soon, goodbye.